Hello, welcome back, it's Kate here. Today's video is a review of Disney's The Nutcracker Collection by OPI. Uh, full disclosure, I have not seen this movie yet, even though this is a very old collection. This comes with a primer or base coat, five original OPI colors, five exclusive Nutcracker colors, and a top coat. So I'm going to be swatching all of these today. I'm going to be using the base and top coat that it comes with just so you get the full effect or the full intended effect of how these should look on their own. The box did not actually come like that. Um, I just didn't want everybody to watch me fumble with boxes for 20 minutes. So I'm going to do a layer of base coat on all of my left hand and we're going to start by swatching the original OPI colors. So yes, this collection's quite old. I did pick it up on catch for about $40. So yeah, it's still there if you want a bargain, go and grab it now. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with the first color and that's Bubble Bath. Uh, this is a very, very, very pale pink. Um, I am honestly way too pale to be wearing a color like this. So, but you'll see that. However, it is quite a gorgeous color. So I'm going to do two layers of each color just so that you get the full effect, but some I would personally probably do three layers. So this color is Big Apple Red. It is just a true red color. And yes, I put it everywhere. Almost pretty much opaque on the first coat. The third color is I'm Not a Waitress. It is a dark, almost maroon kind of red with a shimmer to it. It's really, really pretty. Uh, probably my favorite of all these originals. And it's pretty much also opaque on one coat, but as I said, we're gonna do two on all of them, just to be fair. Okay, fourth color is Lincoln Park After Dark. This, while it appears black, has a very strong purple undertone. So on the first layer, you'll notice it looks very purple, but it does pretty much turn to black on the second coat. And the final color of the originals is My Private Jet. This is a gray silver with a very strong holographic iridescent rainbow undertone sparkle to it that made any sense. You can't really pick it up on camera, but it's very evident in the bottle. All right, second layer of bubble bath. I would possibly do one more layer of that, but as you can see, I'm far too pale to be wearing that color. Second layer of Big Apple Red. There you go, absolutely gorgeous. Second layer of I'm Not a Waitress. Lincoln Park After Dark, and you can see here it does turn quite black, you can barely notice the purple. And finally, my private jet. You can see a bit more of the sparkle in the second coat, but it doesn't really pick up on camera. You just have to trust me on this one, it is rainbow. All right, I'm now gonna go ahead and put the top coat on all of these. Full disclosure, I do also have two dips of clear powder underneath this, just to keep my nails strong because they are quite weak. That's not a necessary step, um, completely optional, but it's up to you. So there's Bubble Bath, Big Apple Red, I'm Not A Waitress, Lincoln Park After Dark, and My Private Jet. All right, moving on to the other colors. This one is Tinker Thinker Winker. We have Dreams Need Clarification, March in Uniform, Ginger's Revenge, and Black to Reality. So again, I'm gonna do a base coat under all of these. Oh, I already have and I just cut it out. Okay, so this first one is a silver, very pale with a 
iridescent rainbow shift similar to my private jet. This dreams near clarification, very sheer on the first layer, but a pale blue with a bit of a lavender shift to it. Marching uniform is just your classic midnight blue, pretty much opaque on the first layer. Ginger's Revenge, it's just another red. It's almost a strawberry red on the first application. It's got that bit of a pink hint to it. And Black to Reality, while this appears black on camera, it has a really strong fiery red-orange shift to it and it's really, really cool in the light. Alrighty, second coat. Honestly, this one is quite sheer, but I would definitely use it as a topper. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous and it does have that rainbow shift to it. There we go, we've got Dreams Need Clarification. Marching Uniform goes that very midnight blue, almost navy. Ginger's Revenge goes much more red on the second coat, but still almost a true red again. Bit of a berry undertone. And black to reality, you can see slightly a bit more of that undertone, but it doesn't really pick up very well on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat these in real time now and just give some final thoughts. So of the original colours, because I never tried any of them before, I really did enjoy I'm Not A Waitress and My Private Jet. They're just right up my alley. Um, that's not to say the other colours aren't absolutely gorgeous and I wasn't going to wear them all anyway. Uh, but of these Disney exclusive colours, I really enjoy Tinker Thinker Winker, which is that iridescent silver. You could put that over anything, you could wear it on its own, it's going to work regardless. Um, I also really like Black to Reality because it's got that shift of reddy, orangey, fieryness to it. But again, regardless, all of the colours are gorgeous. They all kind of match each other in a very weird way. I don't usually think that blues and reds match each other, but here we are, I'm admitting it. So those are my final thoughts on this OPI collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.